Welcome to the Brass and Woodwind Shop. A lot of brass musicians are very concerned about red rot. Brass is an alloy of zinc and copper. When acid gets into the instrument, it can eat away at the zinc and it leaves behind the copper. What happens is that spot turns red because of the copper and then the metal gets very weak and eventually it can make a hole in the instrument. Some people have acidic saliva and that gets into the instrument and it eats away at the metal. A lot of people are very worried about red rot. While it is not a good thing to happen to an instrument, usually it's not quite as bad as people think. The reason for that is that it takes a very long time, usually several decades, for a hole to appear in an instrument after the red rot has started to appear. So the red rot gives you a lot of warning before a hole starts to appear in the instrument. This trumpet lead pipe has several spots where there is red rot. You can see right there there's a large one. Uh, red rot goes all the way through the instrument, so if you tried to buff this off, you would buff all the way into the instrument before you got through the red rot. So buffing it does not help. Usually red rot starts with small pink dots. You can see some right there. And then when it gets bigger, it turns into something like that. The customer wants me to replace the lead pipe, and while it's probably not totally necessary to replace it, it will be a fresh start, so it's probably not a bad idea to replace it. I'm going to pull this lead pipe off, and I will show you what red rot looks like from the inside. I'm going to cut open this lead pipe so that you can see what it looks like inside. I'm going to cut it at a diagonal so that you can get as good of a view of it as possible. And it's amazing what I do for my viewers. There's a thin layer of lime deposits there, and then you can see that there is some stuff that's bumpy there and there. And if you turn this around, you can see that those bumps are underneath where the red rod is. Where the bumps are, that's where the zinc is coming out of the metal. I cleaned up the tube so that you could see it a little bit better. You can see right there, there's a little bit of a pink spot. It's not that big, and it doesn't look that bad, but if you turn it over, it corresponds with a larger pink spot. So what you have on the outside looks a little bit worse than what actually is inside. And if this lead pipe would have been left, it probably would have lasted many, many more years, probably actually several decades before a hole started to appear in there. If I turn this, you look a little bit farther in, you can see a few spots there where there's a little bit of red rot, which corresponds with this. Now on the outside, this looks really bad, but on the inside, you can see that it's not quite as bad as it looks from the outside. Here's an example of some serious red rot. It does not look red, and that's because there's some solder on it, and it tarnished a bit over the years, too. I'm guessing that what happened is the metal underneath this got very weak and then somebody bent this lead pipe and then that cracked. And you can see that someone tried to replace something over the years, probably many years ago, probably to cover other red rot issues. And then also somebody tried to patch something up. But the red rot was bad enough that this cracked and there's also another small hole right there. So this tube of lead pipe was in very bad shape and needed to be replaced. Not all pink spots on brass is red rot. Right there you can see a pink spot. That is not red rot. What happened is something uh, happened to the lacquer and then the oxygen got underneath there and started tarnishing the surface of the lacquer. But if you look inside of the tone hole, you probably cannot see it in the video, but there is no corresponding red rot inside of the instrument. So that is just something that's on the surface. If you wanted to, you could buff that off and re-lacquer it and then it would be gone. Just for fun, I'm going to take a screwdriver and see if I can poke a hole in that. And this is the worst place of red rot right here. Let's see if I can poke a hole in that. Now the screwdriver slipped. Okay, I'm pushing pretty hard and I cannot push a hole into that. So obviously that is not that bad of a spot of red rot. I hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos and also look in the description below for a link to my website.